Hello, it's Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion 360. And this is about how to put a pattern on a cylinder. This is a question from a Facebook page, but yeah, it comes up. Uh, man, man. Uh, this is not a totally beginner's tutorial. I'm going to be quite speedy. So first of all, I say I have a specific video for that. If you get frustrated with it, I'm going to link it so you can see it somehow, uh, where I explain the shortcuts I use. And I can be quite speedy. This is mostly a showing of a workflow, not how to get a finished product, because you might need to adjust things to to your liking, and you might change the pattern. So we're going to put a pattern around the cylinder, and in this case, uh, as you can see, there's these are squares, but this is it's the same pattern, but it's shifted over one step. And to make it easy for myself, the pattern I'm making are two of these is because if I make these two then I can pattern them down up round and stuff like that and to make it easy for myself I'm going to use parameters so let's start a new design we start by modify change parameters and use the parameters the first one I like to have is the cylinder diameter you can name them as you want and let's do 150 to start uh, I'm going to make that a fav favorite for later, and we need to decide how many instances of the pattern we're going to need. Number of pattern, cylinder, this needs to be no unit, as it's going to be a number, not a specific uh, measurement. And I like to do, so now we're talking about two, the two rows, so we're going to do eight, so we're going to be 16 instances of the squares around. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's make a favorite. And uh, what more do I need to play? Yeah, I need patterns in the other direction. I want to know how many patterns. Pattern on the. I can't spell today. Hi, if I want to do also no unit. And I'm going to make that for now eight. Yes. Oh, that's too much. Let's make it a six. Also favorite because these three are the ones I gonna change. The next ones I'm gonna do, I will not change. We are gonna start with calculating the angle for our arc cannoli. So we're gonna arc angle and gonna be degrees. And that's 360 degrees divided by the number of cylinder patterns like that. Uh, and we're gonna need to calculate uh, the pattern width. Uh, this is the width. The width. Width. I can't spell today or talk today. Uh, the width of the two squares, and that is going to be the same as the circumference of a cylinder, which is one. Oh, so not. Uh, we're going to use our parameter cylinder diameter times pi. Remember, big letters. Uh, that's the full circumference divided by the number of cylindrical patterns. That's the width of one. By that we can calculate the height of a cylinder. So cylinder height is going to be pattern width times the number of pattern on the height. So that's going to be one high thing. It's going to change some parameters. You say that to ten and that to four. That feels like a better to do. You can play around with numbers if you want. It's not that important. Just you put in the calculation how important it's on. Do we need any more? Yeah, we can add parameters for things like thickness or and angles of a pattern we do, but this is the base I need to start to do the pattern. So I can then go back and add parameters for other stuff. So look, okay. Okay, we're gonna start a sketch on the R from the top view plane. So that's the bottom we're going to do it on, like this. So we see top over here. And uh, we're going to go start with an arc. I hit the S key and start typing arc because I don't want to run around in the menus. Center point arc from here. Really, yes, just do it like that. We are going to do a line, construction line from here to here, down to here. Make sure this line here I want horizontal. Now we can put in a dimension for this here. I'm going to right click because I have a diameter dimension. So I want to choose diameter here. And that's the cylinder diameter. 
and the angle here between these two lines that is our arc angle and we need a line for our sheet metal function so we're going to do a line here straight out and for not construction line turn off that for ease i'm just going to do that let's do it 10 millimeters like that and by doing that we have done all i need to do and uh, now we're going to use the sheet metal function sheet metal we create a flange we click on our little profile we've just did and pull it up a bit and how high it's going to be it's going to be our cylinder height our parameter we made and i was too fast i forgot one thing let's go back open that up again we look for top view we can see that the flange gets on the outside of our profile we want inside so i change the thickness to side two so it gets on the inside uh, i have now not set any rules because i would just edit them so let's do that uh, okay like that uh, this is not really fully necessary but i like to do this because i want to the outside here to maintain its dimension i do that by going and sheet metal rules here i'm going to edit that we get over here we say only set the band k1 put over which just happens to be my pre-made but you hit the edit rule pen and the thing you want to change is the k factor to one that means the outside of a flange is going to keep its dimensions the thickness you can change with one we're going to do some other things saying you know, every way you want to do it you can play around close and uh, modify unfold click on the flat part click on the band and we have a nice flat part now is a bit also why i did this lines uh, horizontal earlier was if you look from top view you knew now the flange is nice and flat from the front view and now create sketch on this part of the flange the front side we're going to project in this big part of the flange okie dokie let's remove the body we're going to turn all of this into construction lines and just do not get confused i'm going to turn off the sketches in behind this is the part of the flange we're going to keep and we need two squares so let's do some rectangles from this corner up to here and from here to that point and when we're going to make equal this equal to that that one equal to that one and that one equal to that one you can do a different one if you want to do it's just a simple way i want to do it and we're going to finish catch and now we're going to turn on our body again and uh, i'm going to use extrude join because yeah, you can do new bodies and then pattern that and then do a combine but combine has a problem but it's based on the numbers here we're going to talk a bit more about, well, a bit more about that later but when I do extrude, I hit the E key on the keyboard to get extrude. I take one of squares, and here you can put in the parameter. Now I have it done, but I'm going to see it. I want to pull that out two millimeters, like that. And I want to do a chamfer before I do anything else. I need to do that on each here. Otherwise, it will join up the edges and things. Like that, I have set it to two. Let's do just an equal distance here. You can do all you want to do. You can do chamfer in different angles. I just do uh, equal two millimeters chamfer, so it cuts all the way into the flat part and out two distances, and you can change how it chamfers things. Okie dokie, extrude again. This two millimeter. Let's do the chamfer again. Repetitive work. Clicking on all the beautiful edges and two millimeters now we have our still just one body so now we're going to pattern things turn off the sketch for now now we're going to use it first maybe sorry i want to use one of the lines uh, no i don't need it really i get confused sometimes uh, s key rectangular pattern yes please we want features pattern time is going to be feature so we're going to choose these four features with two extrudes and two chamfers direction is going to be along this edge and we're going to use spacing and the spacing going to be is going to of course be our pattern width like that and it happens to do it the reverse direction so we're going to hit set the minus sign before and the quantity is number of pattern on hive like that and we hit okay and by doing that we have filled up 
uh, the sheet metal. So now we can do refold and it bends it back. Uh, we're gonna get want to get rid of this flat part here and the way I normally do it I just do the extrude I hit the E key click the top face point it downwards and tells it to extend all and it's gone bye bye sheet metal and now S circular pattern bodies this body the axis you can take the front axis or if you're laser like I am sometimes choose just the round edge it's the same as the center line or center point uh, uh, number I was wrong we need number of pattern around cylinder like that and by doing that we have now created uh, the thing is now we have a lot of bodies you can do a combine when you do that but you want to wait to do the combine and work from here and forward until you have decided if this is the pattern you want Let's open our little change parameters. Turn off these down here so we only have a favor favorites visible. And uh, like, okay, I want more patterns around. So let's change that to 12. Um, must look better. I want five upwards. Yeah. Or maybe you want to be 200 millimeters. Or you maybe you want to do it just 100 millimeters. It just scales everything down. So when you have found or you want to do it when you decided you can go back and change it but it can crash things because it's doing a lot of things we are going into solid combine body number one and all the rest of the bodies make sure it says to join and now we have one sheet metal part now the thing i do here i don't know if this is the best way to do it but this is the way i do it uh, I want to turn this from a sheet metal part back to a solid part because there are some things we can't do with sheet metal something when you do uh, cutouts and stuff and fusion going to be a bit cry on us. So create sketch. The bottom line here I'm going to make a circle. I hit the C key for circle. And this is called going to be the cylinder diameter. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. I uh, need to cough. Uh, finish sketch. Extrude, extrude this circle. The distance is going to be to object all the way up. Uh, and it's going to give you a cut or join or something. I don't want to do that. I want to do a new body. Hit OK. By doing this, I now have one solid body, that's a white thing, and one sheet metal body. So what I do, I'm going to do a combine. Combine. And I choose the uh, point of click on the solid body first then the sheet metal part and click ok what happens now is fusion turns it is to a solid body so we can do commands and stuff and play around uh, i would not really do a shell command here because then it will try to make them inside you can just do circle extrude down so this is how i do patterns on a cylinder so they match up in all directions you can go off to other patterns and play around with this workflow just want to share this i hope this is useful for some of you and with that see you around bye